Hey Dom Blinks, it's Dave Desai. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be much too heavy. I'm definitely very curious to hear your thoughts on all of these things. So we're going to be talking about Jungkook talking about how he feels like his image is fake. We also have some pretty bad and some creepy footage of BTS, among other K-pop groups as well. I'm kind of scared to talk about that actually. And then we will have Jin getting banned, which will actually be a nice and kind of funny one. So there's quite a bit of tea here today, and I definitely want to give my thoughts and opinions on those as per usual. If you are new here and you're interested in this type of stuff, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell so you be notified anytime a new video drops. And if you're a hater, like to be the first to leave your hate comment, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell also so you can be the first to do so. Now, let's jump into it. So let's start with Jungkook's fake image. Jungkook, if you didn't know, debuted at a very, very young age. I believe he was 15 when he debuted. I mean, that's like so young. Like when I was 15, I was not out debuting, dancing, and singing. I was worried if I looked cool in high school. I was worried if Sally over there thought I was cute. Sally didn't think I was cute, by the way. And spoiler alert, I was not cute at 15. Jungkook, however, was very adorable at age 15. Probably had to swat the girls away. Or boys, we don't judge. But coming with a very early debut, you can imagine someone would face an identity crisis. Like, you don't really know who you are at 15, what you want to do. Well, I guess he kind of knew what he wanted to do. But he might not have known who he was. And the type of person he wanted to be. The public, or potentially anyone in the entertainment industry, was probably telling him constantly who they wanted him to be. And already telling him who he needs to be in order to be famous and successful. So then he was given the title of Golden Machne of the group. Now it's obviously an honor to be called that. It holds a lot of weight, although it just simply means the youngest member. But of course, given that name, when people meet you, they expect you to be very polite and sweet, which Jungkook is. Also given names like Golden, you're expected to be amazing at everything, which Jungkook is. But this is why Jungkook is so hard on himself, specifically when he even slightly messes up. And this is talking about when he's dancing on stage, doing a dance routine, singing a wrong note, whatever. Perhaps he then feels like he disappointed his own name. I'm not sure. But I can totally understand that. However, you will never disappoint us armies, okay? But obviously the name was just given to him and then he was just expected to live up to that name. This isn't great for people's mental health or their growth because everyone needs to find out who they are by themselves and then they can go and live up to who they want to be or who they think that they're better off being. Maybe if it wasn't for fame, Jungkook would be a tough biker boy, like a mean guy with a lot of tattoos and piercings. I could see it, our hot zaddy. He loves tattoos and piercings. Who's to say he wouldn't do a full body one? But that's that's the problem. I don't think he was given like an opportunity to ever even explore that option and to find out who he could be. Who knows? Maybe one day he'll explore that and then realize he actually likes being the golden boy better. But I would love to see people given the opportunity, especially people who are extremely famous, given the opportunity to explore who they are without criticism. Now this was episode 5 of the Break the Silence documentary that Big Hit released. If you have not checked it out, please go check it out. Jungkook specifically said, I envy the image people have of me. People call me the golden maknae, but that's not how I feel. So I have to try harder to make myself appear that way. So he almost has to compete with what people are saying about him. And then he has to compete with the standards that other people are putting on him. That's a lot of pressure for like a 15 year old. I hope he knows that we expect him to be healthy first and foremost, mentally and physically. And if you can't perform 100% at a specific show, then just don't. Some armies took a lyric from one of his unreleased songs and they found that that connects to what he had said in this Break to Silence documentary. The lyrics reads, when I see you smile in the screen, you're good at everything. You're just perfect. Perfect. Feels like I've never been you. And he's obviously talking about when he looks at himself on TV. That line cuts deep. Cuts real deep. Imagine seeing yourself everywhere and then being like, that's not me. We can look back at Polaroids and things like that and think of how fun that moment was. Jungkook will have moments to look back on years later, but he'll look on TV and he'll say, that's not me. I can't imagine the psychology of someone at that level of fame. Someone who puts that much pressure on himself, tries that hard to do something. I mean, there's a lot of hate online of Jungkook, but the one thing that I don't see is that people say, that he is lazy and he sucks at dancing because that is just not true. Even the haters will admit that ain't true. I definitely wanted to see some of the support online after he said this and after expressing that this is how he feels. The support is always overwhelmingly good when it comes to Jungkook talking about these things. So I definitely want to take a look. One army said this. I envy the image people have of me. It's a year late, but I wish that as time goes by, Jungkook can see himself the same way that fans see him and realize that he deserves to be called the Golden Machne. I 1000% agree. The only image we see Jungkook as is someone who tries really, really hard and is really kind. And of course, he meets that standard. So there's nothing to worry about. But this is nice to know because every artist, and I mean every artist, experiences something called imposter syndrome, where they don't believe that they deserve the recognition or they don't believe that they're talented as they actually are. I get it because even when I put out a piece of art, whether that's a photograph or a drawing or whatever it is, I see the process of how that was created. I know how I got from point A to point B. So of course, I might not see the creative appeal 
in it just because I made it, you know? So then it takes away from the mystery and the interest almost because once you know the exact process, the magic is almost gone. I hope that makes sense. We'll obviously continue to support Jungkook whether he's at concerts or not and then record awesome videos of him to share because what he does is indeed cool whether he believes it or sees it or not. We do, however, need to be very careful with some of these fan cams. There's a fan cam situation going on and it's quite scary. I'm actually very, very scared to talk about this. It seems like an entire group of people doing this and it's not like one or two trolls. It seems like a group of people were kind of put into a group chat or some sort of group like that and then all at once just decided to do this. But I'm getting ahead of myself. I'll get into what happened and give some backstory on what is going on if you don't know. There's accounts posting fan cams which seem all normal and whatever and this is of BTS and other K-pop groups as well. So it's not just specifically BTS, they seem to be targeting K-pop as a whole. So the fan cam will appear as normal, maybe within the first few seconds or whatever, and then really disturbing images will pop up on screen. Images that should not be online or should not have even been taken. Please, please do not look up the images that I am talking about because they are disturbing. The images will be images of self-harm, bloody images, things that I am not going to put in this video, obviously, things you don't want to see. And the problem with this is that the people who are watching these fan cams are going to be much younger. And these things are things that can scar you for life. It's not good, it's not funny. The people who are doing this are sociopaths. I don't completely understand why people are doing this. It's all over Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. If you do see it, just block them. I've also seen a lot of these accounts use very similar symbols like this kind of in their bio. I find it very interesting that it's in a lot of these bios. I guess this is the way for them to recognize each other. Is this a freaking cult? What is going on? That doesn't mean that every account with this is probably one of these fan cam accounts. So don't just go blindly reporting them. Only report if you actually do see a fan cam video that is disturbing. My theory is that this is probably happening because someone is just sick of K-pop. Like sick of seeing fan cams pop up everywhere. Because let's be real, they pop up everywhere. And I think what they might be trying to do is get social media sites to ban fan cams or just get people to stop posting them in fear that they'll get reported and shut down. Which is why I'm saying don't falsely report these. There seems to be an attack on K-pop in general more than there seems to be an attack on just BTS or one particular group. I find it interesting because there are fan cams of American groups too. Fan cams of Beyonce, Fifth Harmony doing their Queen stuff. But like stuff like this doesn't happen to them. So what is it? You're just sick of seeing Asian people on your timeline? Because there's a lot of hardcore Beyonce and Fifth Harmony fans that will post fan cams too. And post them everywhere. I see Ariana Grande fan cams posted literally everywhere. But they don't have a fan cam situation so why does K-pop have one? The amount of hatred towards Asian people is just insane. This is unmatched. This is just my opinion. Obviously, honestly, I don't even know anymore. So just be careful right now when you're looking at fan cams. Just know that this could be happening. But it's like annoying because that's what they want. They want you to not look at fan cams. They just want K-pop fan cams to be gone. So I don't know. Just be careful. These people should really be banned from social media. But speaking of ban, Jin was recently banned or kicked off of Weverse. I don't know if he was officially banned as if he could never be on the site anymore, but he was definitely kicked off with his account. Jin tweeted on Twitter saying this. I think I've been kicked off of Weverse. Tell me if I did something wrong. He received kind of a notification on his phone where he tried to log in with his Weverse account and Weverse said that he wasn't allowed to log in with that specific account. It is very funny because I've been on Weverse recently and Jin is very active on Weverse. He posts a lot of comments and responds back to things. So I don't see that he did anything wrong per se. I don't know officially for sure what he did wrong and why he was kicked off. I do have some theories. I did hear that the Weverse site crashed with everything that was going on and people going over on Weverse to see what happened. So Weverse might hate him even more now. I definitely wanted to go on Twitter to see if I could find any answers and what people were saying. I did see one user write, Jin got kicked off of Weverse because it crashed. I don't know if I necessarily believe that. I ended up looking for more and I ended up finding a photo that kind of showed this. So then I figured, okay, so he commented on every single photo that ever existed on Weverse. Armies got spammed with those comments and he probably got kicked off for spamming everybody. Also, I don't know the rules for Weverse, but I do know the other social media platforms, if you do comment a lot of comments within a short amount of time, your account can actually get banned because it's seen as spam. So maybe that's what happened with Weverse. So I honestly don't know. This is honestly just my theory and what I think. But Jin, just like email Weverse, tell them what's up, tell them what's going on. They'll be like, it's a mistake. Our sweet Jin deserves to be on it, of course. I think this was hilarious. Let me know what you think about this. Let me know what your thoughts are. Leave it down in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'm featuring you this comment right here. Thank you so much for leaving comments. As always, I do have a Patreon. If you want to go over to my Patreon and kind of check that out, you can get exclusive content over there, such as music video reactions, performance reactions, ship reactions, all that sort of thing over there. And obviously, if you go over there and contribute anything, you can contribute over there. You can help this channel kind of grow and get better and really help me kind of spend more time on making these videos and make them better. So thank you so much for checking that out. I'll leave a link in the top of the description down below so you can check it out. There's also two videos that will appear on the screen at the end of this video. So click on one of those videos and I will see you over there. Bye. <laughs>